But what Annie doesn't know is that there's other women I donated naturally to recently. <laughs> Leave me alone! Ooh. Ah. Akira! Ah. I plan on telling Annie about the other woman because I want to show her some honesty. Aldo, penso che la cucina non è il nostro campo, quindi andiamo di là. Okay. <laughs> I hope you learn how to make it because oh, I that's what I want. Oh, no. oh my god. I can't. I am disgusted. You better talk to her before I do because I'm hurt of feelings. You don't understand what, what a prenup is. Once you get married, you share everything after no. that. No you, problem. I know. Yeah, okay, then what's the problem? Oh my. <laughs> See this glare? Like, I literally don't know what to do about it. Like, it never showed up in any of my videos before until now. Hey guys, welcome back to 9 Day Fiance. We have a special guest, Glare. I hate it. Bring that ass back like a boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we're doing Love in Paradise season four, episode six, and we're gonna start off with Kyle and Annie. They have like the shortest scene. Okay, so we first see Annie, and she's doing yoga with like a long sleeve on. Honestly, it's the first time I've ever seen someone do this. Also, how does the yoga instructor pay the bills with only two customers? Anyways, I'm talking too much. Oh my gosh, the video just started. <laughs> Okay, so Annie said that the last few days for Kyle has been stressing her out. She wants him to stop donating through smacks, but he's still like, nah. The last few days with Kyle have just stressed me out. Yoga helps me to be more calm. And now she's over here praying for God to give her some sense because she truly doesn't got any left. Okay, so now we see Kyle going in to get an STD test. So while he's there, he tells us that he kept another secret from Annie. Nobody shocked there. Anyways, the secret is that he donated naturally to two other women recently, one in Norway and the other one in the UK. But what Annie doesn't know is that there's other women I donated naturally to recently, one in Norway and one in the UK those poor victims you know what i kind of want to see their kids like do you think that they kind of look like that that kid from like american dad <gasps> dad it's okay i got it. no no it's gonna get it himself i'm getting stronger i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just kidding Okay. Anyways, the expert is ID, and I know there's a lot of smart people out there, so somebody tries zooming in and enhancing it to kind of like see all his info, you know what I mean? But he says that he's going to tell Annie about the other women because you want to show her some honesty, but why can't you show her loyalty instead by keeping it in your pants? If 2 plus 2 is 4, right, and 5 plus 5 is 10, okay, what the fuck is this? So he goes in to take the test and it looks like he has the camera open to take a picture or even to record it. I don't know, maybe like to show proof. I, I generally don't know what he's trying to do there. Okay. Oh, I am good. But then he tells us it's like a buffer to Annie. Like, hey, I cheated on you, but at least I did it in a responsible way. Yay. I think she'll react well because she'll see how responsible I am and she'll be happy. So now we see Annie and her friend and Annie already told her friend everything about kyle so her friend is very skeptical about him and then she tells us that if any has a connection with somebody that she tends to be very forgiving it might be that she needs a challenge if she has a challenge she puts in lots of effort that's her okay but this is past a challenge it's just straight up humiliation at this point so the friend is like everybody has a past but he isn't stopping but overall she has a lot of compassion for annie your head tells her to run but her heart tells her to stay with kyle and to build a relationship with him in my opinion the heart always wins <laughs> And that's where their scene ends. Okay, now for Alex and Adriano. By the way, she pissed me off in this episode. Like, 
genuinely pissed me off. Okay, so Alex is gonna meet Adriano's mom today, but before that, they're gonna go shopping to buy ingredients for his mom so they can make Adriano's favorite pasta dish. So we learned that Adriano is a mama's boy, which is either a green flag or a red flag, never in the middle. Mama mia, go say bella. Thank you. <laughs> so then they set everything down, and then Adriano tells his stepdad that the kitchen isn't for them, and then they dip. Aldo, penso che la cucina non è il nostro campo, quindi andiamo di là. Oh hell no, Alex, this is what you want? Oh, he literally left you and his mama in the kitchen. And then he has the audacity to tell her that he hopes that she learns to cook it because that's what he likes. That is really good. I hope you learn how to make it because that's what I want. You guys. It's definitely the feminist in me because I just want to flip this table. Oh, I was so mad. Okay. <sighs> anyways, anyways, to each their own, to each their own. So then they're all having a good time at the table. Mom even tells him that he could help her out as well. Thank you, mom. But then Alex brings up religion. Like, girl, at the dinner table? Why would you do that? Like, I just feel like she's gonna ruin the mood. So then we find out that his parents are Catholic and she wants to know what drove him out of the religion. But then his parents are trying to reassure her that just because he doesn't believe in God, that it doesn't mean it's gonna change what he feels for her. So then Alex is like, she wants him to support her in her journey as a Christian. And then Adriana is like, I'd be loving you unconditionally, but you don't love me for me. I'm having an unconditional love towards you when you are trying to change who I am and make me believer. You should accept me. I do like. accept you for you, who you are. And he's like totally right because you're trying to change a man that doesn't want to be changed. You should just love him for him or just leave. So the mom is like, if you know that he loves you, then why does it matter where it comes from? And then she starts crying. No, anche addirittura sembra che per lei sia più importante il credere che l'amare. Why are you crying when you're the one that brought it up? So now she's saying that they're all ganging up on her and girl, ugh. it's a discussion that you brought up. Her mom is being so nice about it too. So, calm. <laughs> but then she cuts the dinner short by leaving and now mom is doubting the relationship as she should, okay? And now his mom is like, I hope that he finds somebody that understands him. And it's not like Alex doesn't understand him. It's just that she doesn't like what she understands, okay? She's trying to kick that to the curb. So now they're leaving and Alex is still trying to convert this man. She tells him her whole life story and how she turned to God. But then Adriano says that he believes that she changed for herself and God didn't do that. If you want to call God, okay, call it God. I don't want to call like this. I'm never going to call God. Just accept it. So now he's frustrated, which makes sense. Like she's just pushing him way too much. And then she says that he wouldn't have all these problems if he was religious. And then he's like, nah, I like having threesomes. And then he goes on and on and on and on and on about how he had 10 and how each one was better than the last. And then Alex is like, you're tossing me to the side for pleasure. No, Look, I you're just giving this aside. pleasure so much power that you're willing to toss me to the side. No, I didn't because I'm no. here. I choose you. You broke up with me twice. And you went back twice. You decided to be stupid, not once, but twice. Let's get that straight. Also, 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 let me say this. As a Christian girly, how strong really is your faith? How strong is it? Because if you love God as much as you say you do, and you're like a practicing Christian, you wouldn't be chasing Adriano as much as you're doing right now. Like you keep going back to him, it doesn't make sense. Let that man go leave him alone you go find somebody let him find somebody he's good he doesn't want any convincing you need to go find somebody else instead of chasing after him over and over and over again just to get rejected over and over and over again he's just using you at this point and you're just embarrassing yourself as well anyways okay back to the episode so she said that it broke her heart and she tried to move past it but it really broke her trust in him so leave him I am hopeful we still have a future, but this relationship would never last if there's no respect and trust involved. Bro, you're not even respecting him or his beliefs. Like, I don't know what, I don't know what you want us to say. So then Adriano's like, are you willing to accept being with a man that doesn't believe in God but can give you love? And then Alex says the dumbest shit that ever came out of her mouth. I don't know if you'd be able to love me properly. I'm serious. Because any, any man who believes in the God knows how to love properly. Obviously, I don't agree with Alex. Do you guys know how many Christian men 
that be cheating and lying on their wives. Like, they are legit so horrible to their wives. And those are, like, all things against God. Make it make sense, because none of it makes sense right now. Like, come on, Alex. You're making me nervous with all your logic here. Also, by the way, I feel like I just need to put this in here. Just because I'm shitting on her about what she's saying, because obviously duh what the fuck are you saying but also i just want to let you guys know that there's a lot of good christian men out there i just feel like you shouldn't just trust any guy just because he says that he's christian be a normal person go on a date see who they are find out who they are before you get into like a full-on committed relationship with them christian or non-christian this should apply to any guy you want to date just saying okay that's where the episode ends. Now for Luke and Madeline. Okay, in the previous episode, he asked for a prenup. She walked away. So now in this episode, he follows her to the bathroom. And you guys, you guys, he is so broke that now he works as a paper towel dispenser. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Okay, so Madeline is obviously upset because she thinks that he doesn't trust her. I want you to come to your senses and understand what's going on no. and that it's not a big deal. I don't understand. Oh, it's you don't understand. So now she walks away from the argument to the car to then call him from the car to continue the argument. Does need to change. She's calling me. Why did you do this to me? Where are you? The car. <laughs> You guys, I would never hate 90 Day Fiance. You, I might shit on it, but I will never hate it. Because what the actual hell is this? <laughs> what the fuck? And why does he sound like he is crying? I've been scared to have this conversation with you because of, uh, of this. I had hoped that this conversation would go a lot differently. Anyways, he gets in the car and she's like, No, don't sit with me. You embarrass me in front of everyone. Everyone? Is she talking about the camera crew? Girl, I promise, I promise they've seen worse. I promise you they've seen worse. Anyway, she starts crying and then he starts talking in a high pitched voice. I want to have a couple interrupted with you. Yes, I, I, do. Do. I, I want to get married. married. I, want I want you to, you to be, be my, my girl, girl forever. No! No! no. 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 Oh, you guys. Okay, so it's now the next day, and Luke is so broke that he can't even have a full meal. <laughs> like, look how they zoom in on his plate. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, we find out that Madeline slept at her grandma's place, and she isn't talking to Luke. Luke tells us, though, that he isn't planning on changing his mind. So now they sit in silence. Anyways, so they have the conversation again about the prenup and she still heard that he doesn't trust her and says that she has proven her loyalty to him. But the way she says loyalty is so stretched out. I have proven my loyalty to him. Anyways, now Luke wants to talk about the prenup later and then says that if Madeline can't have an adult and mature conversation about this, then they're going to have a problem. Um, but if you want an adult conversation, get with an adult, okay? I will forever die on this hill. He's a weirdo for getting with her when she's still a kid. And then they do a weird ass kiss that I'm gonna show you guys against your will. Have a mature and adult conversation about this, we're really gonna have a problem. Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? Okay, last but not least, Sean and Aaliyah. So Aaliyah's meeting up with her mom and she wants to invite her to her 25th birthday party and also tell her about Sean. So some background on them. Her parents split up when she was five and because she had to work to take care of her, she gave her to her grandma. Then they became close when she was 20. We also found out that her mom noticed Aaliyah liking girly things when she was young and thought that she was homosexual. But nevertheless, she supports her coming out as trans. Okay, so Aaliyah invites her mom and then tells her about Sean and how they were dating since 2021. And her mom was shocked that she kept it a secret that they were together for three years. 
Unidas. Eles estão juntos há três anos, eu não sabia, eu vim saber hoje. Você, assim, seja feliz e, ao mesmo tempo, feliz, né? Muito feliz. Pela grande notícia. So she just wants her to be happy and now they're all good. Okay, so now they're getting ready for Aliyah's birthday party. But Sean is nervous and then we found out later that it's because he's gonna propose. Love a good proposal. Feeling that we can kind of start building the new love story. So tonight I'm going to surprise her with a proposal. Who would have thought? Not me. So Sean got a famous singer named Anita, who is also Aaliyah's favorite celebrity to help with the proposal. So Aaliyah comes in, and then her friends, and then finally her family. And Aaliyah's mom even talks with Sean and just wants to make sure that he's going to make her happy. Assim, o que eu mais quero é que você faça minha filha feliz, Aaliyah. Estou feliz. Eu estou feliz também. And it was very sweet. Not gonna lie, loved it. I ate that shit up. So then Sean sits everybody down, and then he proposes to Aaliyah. <laughs> Eu tenho uma pergunta pra te fazer. That's crazy. Você quer casar com ele? Oh my gosh, and now everybody's crying. It was just so cute. Do you guys think they're gonna be our 90 day fiance, like officially, officially, or are they like too stable for that? Anyways, that's the end of this video. Bye, bitches. Wow, wasn't that rude of me? Let's try that again. Anyways, hi. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Bye!